Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to bake a cake and it is called starch cake. Now my cousin gave me this recipe and her name is Monique and I want to say thank you. And also I remember when I used to go to college, you used to give me a lot of food to do my practical. So thank you very much. So let's begin. Guys, I'm working with six ounces of butter and that is room temperature butter three eggs and they must be room temperature as well one cup of sugar three ounce of all-purpose flour one pound of arrowroot starch flour this is the starch that i'm using the arrowroot starch and i have half teaspoon of baking powder half teaspoon of vanilla extract and some lemon juice. I'm going to start to cream my butter and sugar. My friend Emily, she said, Sam, are you not cooking? I said, yes, I'm cooking. Cooking is more difficult in my kitchen, but I'll try my best. And give some love to easy Emily. Yes, Emily, I will be cooking. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to cream the butter and the sugar. And don't forget to scrape down the edges. Guys, my butter is nice and fluffy. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add one egg at a time. And whisk it, okay? So guys, I finished cream my butter, sugar, and uh, eggs. Very nice and creamy. I went ahead and saved the baking powder, arrowroot starch, and flour together. So I'm going to pour this mixture bit by bit. Pour the remaining flour in there. Guys, this is finished, so I'm going to go ahead and chop them in my muffin pan. I bake them at 350 degrees for 30 minutes and you can also insert your knife and when it comes out clean they are finished you notice they are whitish that is because of the starch the arrowroot starch look at that guys let's cut into one see that and remember this is starch so when you eat it, it will melt in your mouth. So drink this with some coffee, some tea, you name it, guys. And if you have a smaller muffin pan, you can bake them in there. If you don't want them this big, I would recommend you use a smaller baking pan. 
and remember to mix it well and you can use your spoon to chop them and guys guys these are the second batch that I did but I made them more smaller one thing I forgot to mention you can also add a little water because you know people like different texture so you can add some water but try not to add too much water okay guys and look at the difference see so you can also add water or milk whichever you prefer so good guys so good Thank you for watching.